important YouTubers and YouTubeettes, Jax Russell, coming your way with a spontaneous video. Um, I'm on a road trip, as you can see right now, that's right, I'm heading to visit my parents. Uh, they live in Bathurst, New Brunswick. So it's about, uh, it's about a two and a half hour drive from Moncton to Bathurst. Uh, I'm getting close, I'm about 45 minutes away from Bathurst right now. And I just had the camera with me, so I thought, you know what? What a cool idea it would be to just, just make a video on the road, just, you know, just connect with you guys, because I don't know about you guys, but I feel you're the same as me in the sense that the most important part of a road trip is the tunes, the road tunes, right? That to me is the most important part. And coffee, of course, they're like equal. You know, you need coffee and tunes, that's the recipe to a great road trip. So um, I brought my tunes with me here. I got, I got a handful of CDs, so I thought I'd show them off to you and make kind of like a, a what's spinning video, but while driving. Huh? How's that for uh, groundbreaking? New and fresh, if you will. Um, so here we go. Our first CD I listened to earlier, when I first left, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Californication. Um, Chili Peppers, we all have that band uh, to us that they've been there for us through good times and bad times. To me, that's the Chili Peppers. Uh, they, they've always kind of been there for me. They, you know, I've, I've been a fan for years, and although I don't listen to them quite as much as I used to, uh, I, I still enjoy listening to them from time to time. Um, bumpy ride. Uh, so yeah, and Californication was never really a favorite of mine, you know, uh, I'd always go straight to like Blood, uh, Blood Sugar Sex Magic or even Stadium Arcadium, but I know that was always a fan favorite, people love that album, and I was always like, it's okay, but um, now that I'm older, you know, more mature, I definitely have more of an appreciation for that album, and I really, I love every song, uh, I didn't used to like every song, but now I can listen to it just all the way and just enjoy every second of it. So, that's how I started my trip today, and then, I moved on to From the Devil's Porch by The Standstills. This is a six track uh, EP, and I got this one recently from Frank, channel 33 RPM. And let me just tell you, I only listened to it twice so far, but I am loving it. Uh, the Standstills, they're a Canadian Canadian band. Uh, I'm not sure from where. I should have probably done my research. I didn't. Uh, but all I can say is they're, they're great. It's modern hard rock. I was going to say rock and roll, but no, they're definitely hard rock. Uh, they're by no means metal, but they are by every means heavy. Uh, I, I love it. Um, let me just try to show you here. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my eyes on the road, you know. Um, so let me just kind of show you. This is them. These are the standstills. It's just a... Uh, it's a two-piece, it's a man and a woman. I don't know if they're a couple, like I said, I didn't do my research, but one thing I can safely say is that she's a babe, she's a babe. There's no denying that. So yeah, standstills. If you can find that EP, check it out. I recommend it 100%. So Frank, thanks again for the EP, buddy. I am loving it. Uh, playing right now, not too loud. Van Halen, Diver Down. I already talked about this in my last two updates, actually, because I got it on CD. I got it on vinyl, and I'm listening to it again now. Uh, great album. And uh, Scott Waters actually commented on my on my CD update, and he says that it's pretty much an EP. And it's true. He says it's one third original tracks, one third uh, covers, and one third uh, uh, filler or fluff, as he called it. And I agree. Yeah, it's, it feels like like an EP, especially with all those covers. But the songs are still great. You know, Eddie Van Halen on guitar can't go wrong. So yeah, diver down. Me. I haven't listened to this in a while. Legend by Bob Marley and the Whalers. Um, every now and then, not often, but every now and then, I feel like listening to some to some reggae. Just something about that mellow feel, you know. Just especially when you're driving, it's just it's great. It's, it's a great easy going time. And uh, there's a song on that, uh, Three Little Birds. Uh, for those of you who know it, it's a great song, you know. And it, the lyrics start out by saying, "Don't worry about a thing because every little thing is gonna be all right." And uh, I love those lyrics because I'm a worrier by nature. I worry very easily. So when I listen to that, don't worry about a thing. Uh, it just makes me feel good. You know? Yeah, Bob Marley legend. Oh, wow. Maybe I should slow down. <laughs> Speed demon. Twisted Sister, still hungry. This is uh, for the 20th anniversary of Stay Hungry. They re-recorded the tracks. New and improved. You know, harder, heavier. Uh, yeah, I got this a few months ago from my buddy Levi. 
and I only listened to it the once, so I thought I need to listen to this again, so I brought it with me, I look forward to listening to it on the way back. <laughs> I hope you guys are digging this, this is a lot of fun to make. Um, Rush, 2112, I love Rush, one of my all-time favorite bands, and uh, my buddy Plop, Plop Addiction and I were planning on doing a review for uh, 2112 probably the next week, so I thought I'd bring it with me, and on the way back I'll probably listen, listen to it just so it's fresh in my mind for when we make the review. But yeah, you all know that album, it's great, There's nothing I can say about it that you don't know already. And the last two, are these the last two? Yes they are. Out of you Aerosmith CDs. Peace out.